What's going on everybody? Dead Moon here from The Grave slash Dead TV. And this afternoon I'm gonna be showing you the ultra cool, one of my new favorites, too bad it's not mine, specialty series Popeye Pop. I picked this up off the uh Webernet, the Chris Webernet, and I paid like, oh there's a Raven outside, I believe. Oh well. Anyways. I picked it off the internet. Um I paid whatever full price and some shipping. And it sucks because I went to my local comic shop and there he was for $12.99. Would lesson learned, I suppose. Stop by my local shop first. Anyways, doesn't matter. This isn't my pop. This is actually my girlfriend's uh, pop. I bought it for her, her Popeye pop. I bought it for her for Mother's Day because we have a little boy together. So I give Mother's Day gifts now. Um, <laughs> But I got her this amongst, I believe I bought her portal nights for the Switch, and I took her out to dinner. I think I gave her something else I can't remember right now. Ah, yes, it was a uh, Nickelodeon uh, blind box, which I shook and shook and shook the whole damn case, because she loves Powdered Toast Man. And I was like, you know, I think this is him. And she was with me, and I said, okay, look, here, I'm going to buy this one. And I sat up on the counter, and I said, I'm pretty sure this is him. And I said, you know what, let's just pay for it. We were in GameStop. So let's just pay for it. We'll open it up right here. Go ahead and open it. And if it's not, I'll go ahead and get you another one. You know. So she popped it open, ripped it open. And she's like, oh, you know, here. She helped hand me the bag. And she's like, oh, just dump it in my hand. Because she gets all, like, anxious about that stuff. And I dumped it in her hand. And out came Powder Toast Man. So that's what I got for Mother's Day. Powder Toast Man Blind from the Nickelodeon uh, Blind Funko Boxes. Uh, Portal Nights for the Nintendo Switch and this awesome Popeye Funko Specialty Series Pop that I'm about to unbox. She gave me the permission to do this, so I'm going to do it. Alright, gimme. Let's get this bad boy open here. I love this pop. I mean, just looking at it, you know, the box art and looking at it, you know, just in the box looks great. I can't wait to see him fully out of the box. Oh, he smells. He smells different. Mmm. He had a real strong plasticky smell to him. Oh, wow. This is such a nice pop. Wow. They did a great job on this one. I'm jealous. I want one. I'm going to have to order me one. Even though it's our collection, I want my own. Here he is. I'm not even going to get into the song. You guys know the Popeye, the fucking Sailor Man song. So just uh, hum it in your head if you'd like. But here he is, Popeye the Sailor Man. What an awesome fucking Funko. He's got the anchor tattoo on the big old forearms. The can of spinach looks great. The little little detail he did on the spinach looks amazing. And, of course, the other anchor um, tattoo there. He's got uh, his trademark baggy pants, big boots, and the shirt. I don't know what, that, what you call that is, that collar or that back that hangs over it really nice the pipe hanging out of his mouth looks great it's actually really sturdy i think i thought i thought it was going to be flimsy but it actually isn't um and the face the facial details the actual wrinkles they gave him here as they raised the plastic looks it's amazing they did a great job i'll tell you what if you guys are looking for a funko pop with great detail and a great paint job i mean they've done such a good job over the years but Specialty series, always. Look at the wrinkle lines, the squinted eye, the big old chubby nose. This is an amazing Funko Pop. One of my new favorites. Isn't even mine, but I love it. Nonetheless, we share them, so I'll get to enjoy him amongst our 450 plus collection that we have going on. And one of these days, when I finally fully get moved out and we move into a house, I'm going to do a gigantic Funko Pop tour so you guys can see my whole collection. I'd love to hear from anybody that's a collector and is uh, serious and passionate about these things. Let me know what your latest, uh, newest Funko Pop you picked up and what's your favorite, current favorite at least. I know it changes for me. Any comments below would be great. Appreciate any kind of support and any kind of uh, interaction you guys may want to have with me. You can catch me at Twitter and Instagram at BDeadMoon. That is the letter B followed by the word DeadMoon. You can also catch me at Twitch TV at Dead underscore T underscore V. And right here on YouTube where I do all my unboxing videos and anything that I play game-wise goes up there as well. At From the Grave. So it would be absolutely awesome if you guys give me a like, a follow, and a subscribe. Preferably on YouTube because that's the channel I'm trying to grow. As Twitch doesn't really seem to work out unless you are named a ninja or PewDiePie or somebody like that. 
it doesn't really work out. Or I hate to say things like this, you're a female and you're willing to wear a low cut top. I think we all know that's the sad truth. So yeah, YouTube would be great. Instagram is also helpful for me because I put all my posts on there of videos and unboxings that I'm gonna be putting up on my YouTube channel. So if you do follow me on Instagram and you put notifications on, I will have several notifications for new videos that go up, uh, Funko Pops I find in the wild, and or stuff that goes live on the internet, Funko Pop wise or collectible wise, like video games and stuff like that, collector's editions, things from other websites that most people may not uh, be aware are actually going live at what times and that they actually exist. So enough of my ranting thanks for stopping by hope the video was uh, good enough and as always take care